Okay, folks, so this is the control, the remote control I just picked up from Walmart. It's the RCA. And you're probably here because you want to know how to use this. So I found that this is actually very tricky. I, want, I don't want to say complicated, but tricky to program your TV with. But I'm going to show you how it's done. So let's, let's just dive right in. First, you have to select which one of these buttons you want to use. For example, if you want to program a TV, um, I would use this one right here that says TV already. Let me try to focus. So it's that one. So to program this button to a TV, you first have to press and hold like that. Let me turn off the light. Okay, there we go. So you press and hold and then that turns on. Once that turns on, you press and hold this one until it turns off like that and then it turns on again so once that is turned on you aim it to your TV and press the play button over here and it'll flash and it's gonna test 10 codes and if your TV doesn't turn on press again it'll test another 10 codes if the TV doesn't turn on press again if your TV doesn't turn on, press again. And let's pretend that the TV turned on right now. So just press the rewind button over here. And then just keep pressing it until the TV turns off. Once the TV turns off, just press stop. And you're ready. So let's go over that again and later we're going to go to an actual TV and we're going to see how it works out in real life. So let's practice one more time. Press and hold TV, then press and hold the power button and wait until it turns on. Now you aim it to your TV and press play. It'll test 10 codes. If your TV doesn't react, just press play again. It'll test another 10 codes. If your TV does not react, just press play again. Press another 10 codes. Let's pretend that it's going to react on this next section. And then you press, since it reacts, just press reverse. And then keep pressing reverse. And it'll be testing each individual one of those last 10 codes until your TV reacts. And by react, I mean turn on or turn off. It doesn't really matter. Once it reacts your TV, then press the stop button and you're all set. So this is the reason why they make it like that so that so so you can do it faster. It tend, it, it'll test 10 codes at a time every time you're pressing play. And uh, once it knows which uh, which group of 10 codes is included for your TV. That's why you have to press reverse, and it'll teach in the it'll uh, it'll test individual codes each time you press reverse until you get to the right one, and then you press stop, and it'll stop at that code, and you're all set. So let's go outside and um, let's test it on a real TV. Okay, so here we are, and here's our real TV. So we're gonna. We're going to do what I said. I'm trying to use both hands. So we're going to press and hold the TV button. And then we're going to press and hold the power until it turns on. Once it turns on, you just keep pressing play. And if it, um, if the TV reacts, if it turns on, then you press reverse. So let's press play. Nothing happens. Let's press play again. Okay, there we go. So we press reverse because it reacted. You can't see it, but that little LED turned on. And it has a, a little bit of a lag. So now let's press reverse. Doesn't do anything. Let's press reverse once again. Doesn't do anything. Let's press reverse once again. There we go. So that's our code. So now we press stop and we're all set. So now let's test it and see if it actually does work. 
press power and there you go LED turns on you can't see it but it is turning on just wait and there we go let's test the volume okay so everything else should be working I'm not gonna test everything but um, this is not even my TV. I'm just gonna turn it off, and let's test it on a different TV. And then we're gonna t we're gonna try it on a vintage TV and see what happens. Press TV. Press power. Wait until it turns on. And now let's press play. Press reverse. Press reverse. Press reverse. Press reverse. Press reverse. Okay, press stop, and there we are. So the volume works. Channel up. It's um input. So it works. Let me turn it off. Okay, so now let's test this on a vintage TV. This this is a CRT cathode ray tube TV. So let's see if it'll turn it on. Let's see if it'll work with it. Press TV. Press power and hold. Light turns on, so press play. So it's testing 10 codes. Press play again. Let's press play again. 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 again. Again, 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 and it gave up. So you cannot work this TV. This is the original remote right here. So you cannot work um, with an older Castle Ray tube TV with this modern remote okay so now we're gonna program this right here this is a blu-ray player by Panasonic and we're gonna assign it to this button right here the DVD dash blu-ray so let me turn off the lights so it's already turned on so we're gonna press and hold this one right here and then press and hold the power until it turns on again and now we start Pressing play. There we go. Now press reverse. Press reverse again. There we go, it turns on. So at this point we press stop. You press stop and we are programmed. So let's see if it'll turn off. 
There we go. Let's see if it'll turn on. There we go. And now this is going to function with these right here. I'm not going to demonstrate that. You're going to have to take my word for it. But this is how it works because I've done this before. I'm just doing it again for demonstration. And um, finally, if you take out the batteries, it will retain the codes. So I know some older remotes, old, older universal remotes, if you took out the batteries to just to replace them and put some new batteries in put some new batteries in and when you put the new batteries in and then you try to use it it would forget the it would forget all the codes but this one actually um, remembers all the codes even if you take the batteries out so that's a good thing okay guys so we have reached the end of this review like I said this remote is um, fairly good for eight dollars you can't really complain so overall do I recommend this remote the answer is yes 100 percent you just got to be a little bit patient with it so anyway thank you for watching subscribe and thumbs up